so hi everyone so in this video we will see how we can uh, create an email in email studio and uh, create a data extension create sender profile and uh, send the email basically using email studio so let's get started so here uh, as a first thing we will create a sender classification sender profile send classification so we are going in admin sender profile click on create here we will give a name let's say uh, my sender profile and we will use a specified information we'll give a from name like uh, the biscuit company will give a email address in this case I'm giving my email address I'm clicking on verify Okay, it's showing pending, so I should receive a verification email and I click on this and I have verified. So after this, let me save this for now and let me again open it and I see this as verified so these things I don't need so here I have my sender profile created delivery profile we can create my delivery profile we can use account default and we can click on save basically def delivery profile has the IP address from where uh, this email will be sent so once we have our sender profile and our delivery profile created let's create a send classification so we will create like my send classification and we will select our sender profile which is my sender profile select our delivery profile which is my delivery profile and we'll click on save now sender profile and delivery profile have been created now let me come to email and let me create click on create and I will create an email and before creating I will create a data extension so my D so this is the D which we will use I'm clicking on next data retention policy uh, is how after how many days you want to delete the data so we can choose a date like uh, maybe month after one month uh, uh, if the date uh, the data will be uh, the old data will get removed 
but for now we will keep it off we don't need that go to next and here we will give email email address this is the primary key and we will give a name so here I am choosing send relationship email address to subscriber key and click on create so we have our D over here and let's enter a record and let's give a name like my name so here so once this is done let me choose a template okay before uh, creating the email let me upload the image which we will need so upload content here we have biscuit at so this is the image we want to use in our email okay so now since it's uploaded let's create the email we can create from text HTML based template I'm choosing template for now it will give us drag and drop feature from content builder I'm giving my email and I'm clicking on next here I can choose the image so I'm browsing to choose our image and here uh, I'm clicking on done now I'll choose text here I'm giving like high percentage percentage now we have to personalize so I will choose my name exactly the field name which is there here in the data extension putting it here and then hi uh, and I'm giving some space okay so that uh, there is less clutter and here I'm giving like uh, uh, this festive season by our Vita Bakes biscuit uh, bundle and get flat 20% discount on all your orders okay and uh, thanks Vita Bigs team and we can write the biscuit company okay something like this this is our email so here we are with our email let's give like 20 flat 20% off okay and let's click on next so we can choose our this is for previewing right we need to preview our email so let's click on data extension and let's choose our data extension my d let's choose our record in order to render and this should be our email right so this is our email which is getting rendered right so and if, as you can see it's personalized it is picking the email uh, the uh, name from my uh, name right in the data extension so once this is done let me choose the send classification we created so we created my send classification I'm choosing that my sender profile which is the biscuit company which we created uh, and my delivery profile now all things are set so let's do a test send okay we can do a guided send also so for guided send we we can do that as well first i'm doing test send so say confirm and send so it should be sent to my email my training so let me just quickly verify the email address so yes uh, so this is the email address where i should receive the email so let me wait for the email to arrive
okay so, uh, till we get the email since we have sent it uh, we can see like whether our email got delivered or not or maybe it got bounced right it's uh, so we can check that in my tracking so in my tracking since we made this send uh, we should see our uh, send over here so I think it's not yet sent that's why okay okay it came so here is the email so this is the email which we sent and it is here right so we have our email at uh, like uh, Vitabix fuel on the go uh, that's a random image I took from the net so this is the biscuit ad and then we have like uh, uh, the festive season uh, this festive season buy our Vitabix biscuit bundle and get a 20% off so this is test sent now we can also do guided send right so uh, what we can do right uh, rather than do uh, uh, we can uh, okay first let's do a guided send as well so just to show you uh, so here right here we are clicking on send so same thing but this time it's not a test so there will be actual audience in our case there is only one record but it can be many right so here we are selecting our sender profile delivery profile clicking on next we are clicking the data extension choosing our data extension this is the data extension dragging it here so all subscriber is the subscription center which we are using and here uh, so, uh, also the all subscriber is managing our subscriber list and we are not putting any suppression list over here so people who needs to be suppressed from receiving this email now we are clicking on next so send it immediately right so we are sending it immediately clicking on this and so this is the email it will be sent to one audience which we have so let's click on send so it is sent again so we should receive another email in some time so earlier it was test if you notice because it's a test but this time uh, the subject won't have test okay so this is the email so as you can see the subject doesn't have any test here and we have this email from the Vitabix team right and as you can see the from name is showing a professional company like the biscuit company and which is our send classic sender profile right and uh, this is it so we did it using uh, this guided send now we will do the same thing but using journey builder right so in this case what I will do is just to show that it's coming from the journey builder so I will clear the record again in this D and add an attribute group like flag and we'll change this flag to false initially so it will change to true once uh, it enters the journey so here we have our email we have just to understand it is coming from journey builder I am giving a full name not 
only first name and this is false so initially it's false in our journey so let's create the journey my journey and let's create the email let's add the email activity and the wait activity we are changing to only one minute and here we are giving a decision split so select you are selecting our data extension my d decision split uh, we are giving we are choosing here we can choose contact data or journey data in this case i am choosing the journey data which is the um, uh, the data extension right which we have here I'm choosing the email as you can see we have all the fields which are here I'm choosing the email and I am changing it to is not null so if email address is not null which anyways is our primary key so should not be null but anyways just to give a check we are giving email is not null and then we are sending the email So I'm choosing the email which uh, we will be using here we can again choose the send classification in this case it's our my send classification which we are selecting and we can check also so here delivery options advanced options we can check this so maybe we can associate a campaign also here but in this case I'm not doing that and I'm just clicking on summary and I'm clicking on done okay so I'm changing this to one minute and here I will give a update so here I'm giving a update contact activity and this I'm changing to one minute an update contact activity we will change the flag which we have over here right it's false so once it's sent uh, just to know that it's it has went through the journey we will change it back to true so selecting our data extension and the value will be flag we are selecting the flag changing it to true and the schedule we can use the automation or recurring but in this case we'll choose run once so and done and in journey settings we will choose like re no re-entry or re-entry anytime we are choosing for now <coughs> so now uh, you uh, we are giving the email address and we are clicking on save Are clicking on validate so this will look for errors so there is a wait activity extra so they are asking us to remove so we can remove that so here and again let's validate
so and we are clicking on activate So our journey is activated. So since this is activated, right, uh, we should receive the email. So I, I can see the email we have received. So let's just check if it has changed to true. So as you can see, right, the flag has been updated to true. And if I reload the journey builder, You can see one record has entered our journey right so we have our record entered journey the flag has changed to true and we have received the email here all right so this is it uh, as a small crash course kind of video on how you can use uh, uh, emails in your sfmc application so hope you like this video so thanks again and see you in next video so thanks for watching